Everybody got it? I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to work on it. My name is Dwayne Harold. I am a 6th to 8th grade health teacher at Bailey Middle School. If you have COVID, you're going to fill out the chain of infection based on COVID. I want them to be able to gain information as much as I can for about health and about life in general. So I want them to know that they have a place that they can feel comfortable talking as well as reading while they're in my class. So you can go ahead and start assigning people to do each one, each one of the patterns. I try to have relaxing music while they're working on their do now, while they're working on group assignments to kind of keep them focused and relaxed as opposed to just, hey, go do a group work. You know, I want them to be under, understand that they have a, a, a quiet place and a relaxing place to do their work while they're in my classroom. And that's what you're going to say. So each person has so the pathogen, that's what he's going to say yes. Kids need help. You know, sometimes when they get along, they don't understand it. So you have to be there to help them and guide their thoughts and kind of help them along to understand what you're doing exactly so they can, the light bulb can go off and they can say, oh, I got it. Especially if you're making a presentation. You want that presentation to be clear and be able to, speak in front of, uh, of the class because sometimes kids don't like speaking in front of the class. So I kind of just try to want to move around to help guide their thoughts and make sure they were understanding what they were doing. Based on this, you have COVID-19, correct? I coach football and basketball. It allows me to be able to have relationships with kids that are not just in my class, not just athletes, but I can go up and if they're having a bad day, you know, I can come, go up and talk to them and they'll understand and know that, hey, this coach, you know, he's coming from a good place. He's here to help me. Sometimes you have kids that are upset and frustrated and nobody can get a hold of them, I'll walk over, you know, and talk to them and things will be a little bit better. It'd be a little easier transition to for whatever they're going through. Yeah, like you said, bacteria, virus. I want them to know that they have a lifelong teacher and not just someone that's there for the moment or for the semester or for the year. I want them to know that I'm here for them no matter what because I believe in building community relationships. And you know, if I have a student that's here in eighth grade, you know, at four year, five years down the road, they're senior in high school, I want them to know I'm still here. I'm still here, but, you know, I'm an email or a phone call away. And at the end, the last person's going to break the chain. That's how we break the chain of infection. I, I don't go to work every day, you know. Uh, I go to school, and that's how I present my job every Sunday. So I'm, I'm going to school.